Good morning, everyone, and respective faculty. Uh, myself, Dr. Kos Patel, second year resident from B BJ Medical College. Um, my uh, topic for uh, today's uh, paper presentation is to study clinical profile of viral hepatitis in children admitted in tertiary healthcare facility. Aims and objective of uh, this study is to study the pro proportion of and etiology of viral hepatitis amongst the hospitalized children and to study clinical profile and outcome of viral hepatitis in children. The observation of studies, uh, ma male is m uh, more commonly affected with vi uh, viral hepatitis and 5 to 10 years being the most common age affected. And uh, viral hepatitis cases were most commonly observed in lower socioeconomic strata, mainly due to poor sanitation and uh, due to uh, lake uh, safety. Uh, and uh, total 75% of the cases were completely immunized as per the national immunization schedule. Uh, conclusion of how the many study. Are, how many were immunized with, with hepatitis A? Sorry, sir. How many were immunized, vaccinated with hepatitis A vaccine? Uh, there is no any data, uh, no any data uh, of the patient who is immunized with uh, hepatitis A. What number a of patients vaccine? had hepatitis A in your study? Uh, 29, 29 out, of out of 56 uh, positive for hepatitis. So 50% were hepatitis uh. A and vaccination status, status we don't know. Okay. Okay. Conclusion of the study is amongst the hepatotropic virus, hepatitis A was the most common and hepatitis C was the most lethal virus. The most frequent presenting complaint was fever followed by yellow discharge of urine, eye and skin. And uh, thalassemia measure was most common comorbid condition detected as the repeated blood transfusion in these children may lead to increased chance to acquire transfusion related viral hepatitis. Okay, good. Differential diagnosis of viral hepatitis. Uh, and tell me one feature of each. Non hepatotropic virus hepatitis like uh, deng dengue. Tell me CMV. one feature of each. Differential diagnosis of viral hepatitis. Uh, in you said fever, jaundice hmm. were the common presentations. What is the deep presentation? What is cholestasis. Okay, one. Uh, Obstructive other jaundice. Se sepsis, other infection. Sepsis causing hepatitis. Okay. That is ischemic hepatitis. Then. Other virus like dengue also associated with. How do you differentiate dengue hepatitis from viral hepatitis? Tell yeah. me one feature of each. The DD of viral hepatitis, classical is fever, jaundice. Dengue one thing you missed was, one thing you missed in the history was, what is the classical feature of uh, viral hepatitis? Fever, jaundice, yes. One thing more. Viral, uh, positive of viral markers. That's in the lab, clinically. Before the fever uh, starts. Itching. Itching is very la late and that too only in if the biliary tract gets involved. Prodrome, the tip classical feature Pro of a viral hepatitis is the prodrome and then yes. fever and then the features. Yes. Right. So DD of viral hepatitis, you said one is obstructive jaundice, one feature of each. Uh, what is the clinical feature? Uh, high bilirubin. Okay, go on. Next, DD, one more DD. Encephalopathy. Differential diagnosis of a viral hepatitis, I'm asking. Everything that's fever and jaundice is not viral hepatitis, right? What else you can think of? You can help him out. It's not a his presentation only. Yeah. DD of viral hepatitis, simple, as good as that. If not viral hepatitis, what it could be? A patient presenting fever and jaundice. No. Okay, good. Thank you, sir.